Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special Cincinnati edition episode. Uh, we are going to be checking out one of my favorite places to eat uh, that we have to hit every time we come back into town, Cincinnati, and it is Skyline Chili. So I can't wait to show it to you. I can't wait to show you the weird food. I mean, to me, us, it's not weird, but I feel like to everybody outside of Cincinnati, it's weird. Uh, but we're going to check it out, and uh, so stay tuned. Here we are at Skyline. Uh, One of my favorites. Yeah, we, we, we went ahead and ordered. I will tell you, it's fast here. This is the, the best thing. My, one of my favorite things about this restaurant is that no matter what time of day, and it's always crowded, you can come in and sit down and eat, which has been really nice during COVID because a lot of places you can't come and sit down and eat. Um, and it's a good sit down, eat indoor restaurant that's fast. Yeah. It's kind of like quick serve, like fast, like almost like you're going to eat at McDonald's, but you're getting like like food that's not McDonald's and it's like it's that fast um oh, that was awkward so anyway um I don't know how to describe that it's just fast you're at a restaurant you sit down you get to eat it's chill service. um Almost. yeah so um a little bit about Skyline it was founded in 1949 here in Cincinnati by Nicholas L I'm not even gonna try to say his name it's like Lamborghini's Lamborghini's Lamborghini I don't know it's a weird last name that I can't pronounce it's he said it's Lamborghini no, I don't think that's it. But it's uh, it's Greek. Is it Greek? It's a Greek restaurant uh, based. I mean, it's not really a Greek restaurant, but it's a Greek person that founded a Greek family, and so it has Greek inspiration. So they actually have a, they have a really good Greek salad here. And the name Skyline Chili is actually was inspired because when he founded his first restaurant, and he was overlooking the skyline of Cincinnati, which if you've ever seen Cincinnati, there's a lot of like hills around it, and they have beautiful like vistas of the city. Um, that skyline picturesque moment of Cincinnati actually inspired the name Skyline. So, um, and actually the logo, the like the the I don't know if it's the logo or the like whatever the the, the, the image. But is it the logo? I don't know. Anyway, it's like a skyline of Cincinnati. So like buildings and stuff. So it's cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the food and why it's weird, and we'll show it. Um, but basically, their big uh, food items here are essentially chili spaghetti so they have chili but it's really about the chili spaghetti so it's spaghetti noodles with chili on top of it and then mountains of cheese which you're like sounds weird um, and then they have cheese conies so like your typical chili cheese dogs they have that um, using their their chili so to me like chili cheese dogs is not weird like that's everywhere like you get it um, and their chili cheese dog basically has the hot dog the bun and then it has mustard onions uh, chili and cheese on top of it. That's how it comes. You can get it different ways with and without or whatever. Um, and then they have uh, burritos here, like chili burritos, which again sounds weird. And then they also have Skyline Chili Dip, which is basically cream cheese that's been melted-ish with chili on top of that and cheese on top of that. And then you dip um, like tortilla chips in it. And it's like really famous around here. People make it at home all the time for like parties and stuff which sounds really weird and busted, but it's actually really good. Um, so our food is already here. Like, it's that fast. Uh, and so let's, let's take a look at it. Here it is. Check it out. Looks pretty awesome. Um, so we've got spaghetti, chili, and cheese. And that's a three-way. So they call that a three-way, which sounds naughty, but it's just a three-way. Three different things on it. But they also have a four-way, which is essentially um, the three-way plus onions or beans. Um, and then you can get a five-way, which is the three-way plus onions and beans. So you can get it all together. Um, and then they also have a habanero cheese here. What's it called? Oh, they call it extreme cheese, um, which is a habanero cheese, which is spicy, and that's really good. And then they also have something called make it a skyway, which is like double the cheese on top. And a lot of people do get like extra cheese on it. Um, so you can see it's a mountain. So let's dig in. Um, oh, let, me, let me check that cheese coney out. So my daughter got a cheese coney. Check this little gem out here. It's looking pretty bussin' there. There was two here, but she already murdered one of them. <laughs> Mauled it. I just get a three-way. She gets onions on hers. Um, yeah. Let's dig in here. I like it all the ways, though. 
And there's two different ways you can eat this. You can either like do the kind of like scoop it up or twirl it, which some people do. A lot of people cut it because it's like very tall and you kind of cut it. Cincinnati way is to cut it and get like a, a big juicy bite out of it like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Get all the pieces in there together. Awesome. They have really good hot sauce here. Mm -hmm. I usually, I like it without the hot sauce and with the hot sauce. So sometimes I'll eat like half of it without and then half of it with it. Mm. Just depends on my mood. I forgot to mention, it comes with oyster crackers. Kind of like a little appetizer you can eat while you're here, but also put it in your spaghetti. Good stuff. I kind of do like some of mine with oyster crackers, some of it without. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Now, most people, most people think, most people think, put chili on spaghetti? That's weird. But people don't get it. People outside of Cincinnati, they don't get it. Um, although I, I heard allegedly somewhere in the Middle East does get it, because apparently that's a thing there too. But the thing about it is that, and this is like a, I don't know, is this like a mild cheddar cheese or something on top? It's really good. The thing about it. Is that the flavor of the, the the chili? Here, she's got like a she's she she puts the cheese on the side of hers. Let's look at the chili. Look at this chili. You see how? Yay! I'm spilling it. That's what I we've already spilled like four times trying to do this. You see the chili? It's kind of like a really thin chili, almost just just like a ground up beef. The thing that's strange about the chili here is that nobody can agree as to what is actually in the chili, um, and it has a very weird, distinct flavor that cannot be described. I would try, however. Um, it's like a very, like, um, uh, it doesn't taste like chili powder. I don't know how to describe it. But it's so unique that nobody can agree on the flavor profile. And lots of people say that they think there's cinnamon in it. Some people say there's chocolate in it, which is weird. And um, allspice, lots of different spices. Nobody knows for sure what the secret ingredients are because they don't reveal it. Um, but it's widely agreed upon that there is cinnamon and or chocolate in the chili that makes it have that unique flavor. And it's I guess it's like maybe like a Greek style or something and of flavors. I don't know. But it sounds weird and disgusting probably. But it's bussin. So good. Absolutely love this place. Cutting it up. And by the way, the one that I just showed here, this, this is the regular size. There's a large that's much, much bigger. And then there's the small, which is like a little dinky. This is like a dinky, like, two-bite appetizer. I usually get the regular. Although I do sometimes get the small one if I also get some cheese conies on the side, because then it's just, otherwise it's just too much. My daughter's here with us. Nick bailed out on us. Thanks, Nick. We love you, though. Actually, I miss Nick. So, let's, let's talk to Weena and see what she thinks of Skyline Chili. I absolutely love Skyline. I grew up eating it. when Before they moved to Florida, I'm not kidding, they would eat it every single day. Um, it's just a family favorite. Um, but I did want to mention, so there is a place called Gold Star, which is kind of the same thing. Um, it's really just kind of like a copy, but it's really not good. Um, kind of like a watered-down version of it, but it is like a fun thing locally. Um, kind of like a like pick your team, pick your pick your side, like Gold Star versus Skyline. And people get really passionate about it, which is funny. But I absolutely love Skyline. It, um, just oh, it has much more flavor. The cheese is better. I think Gold Star kind of tastes more of like that basic chili flavor, where Skyline is just very special and unique. Um, but yeah, absolutely love it. Yeah, I totally forgot to mention the whole Gold Star Skyline thing. So I'm glad you brought it up. Like, literally, it is a... You are either Gold Star or Skyline. There is no both. There's no, like, yeah, I like both. There is, like, Skyline or Gold Star. Uh, hi, Gold Star. I hope you're not watching. Um, but I don't know what else to say. Here's the thing. When I was younger, you know me in Spice. If you've been watching any of our episodes, you know me in Spice. I don't like Spice. It, yeah. I, I'm, I get torched by a barbecue potato chip. <laughs> and Gold Star is milder. And so when, when I was younger, like, my whole family would want to go to Skyline. I was like, can't we go to Gold Star? Because, like, I can't hardly eat Skyline. It's too spicy. 
And so I would want Gold Star, and we would eat Gold Star, and I'm like, it's fine. And then we go to Skyline, and I'm like, it's too spicy. But as I grew up, I don't understand what happened, but like, Skyline's not spicy at all. I don't know, man. I must have really been bad when I was a kid. Um, but now I, as I got older, I started eating a little bit more spice. And so we started going to Skyline more, and I was like, yeah, okay, this is actually better. And then like, I don't even know, like 10 years ago, I, tr I tried to go back to Gold Star, and it was the blandest. Like, it was like eating Skyline, but bland. I mean, it's exactly the same as Skyline. Like, it's like the three-way with the cheese and all that. It's just way less flavor. So I agree, it's blander. Um, so for most people, I think Skyline is going to be better taste. Thank you. But um, I wouldn't eat Gold Star at this point unless I had no other option. Um, also, I do want a fun fact. There is actually a Skyline Chili in Clearwater, Florida. So, like, you can actually, if you really want to try this and you're in the Disney area, you can drive the hour and a half to Clearwater, or it's actually an hour-ish, hour and a half, to Clearwater, and there's a skyline. It's because there's so many Ohioans who live in Clearwater that they were like, we have to have a skyline chili down here. So they actually opened a skyline chili in Clearwater. And I think there's, like, one or two other ones, like, scattered throughout there Florida. There needs to be one in Orlando. They're neat, and I'm literally thinking, like, I should open one. Because I think it's going to be like Portillo's and White Castle, where like everyone like flocks to it. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is like we grew up with White Castle around here, and so when the White Castle there on uh, Doc, uh, Daryl Carter or whatever outside of Disney opened up, and it was like a six hour wait to get burgers, we were like, huh? But you open one in Orlando and people freak out. It's also like the late night place in Ohio, like when you're out really late and there's nothing open and you're like, let's do White Castle. It's open 365 days a year. 24 hours a day. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Gold Star Pass, Skyline, all the way. Um, it's awesome. All right, check this out. We're going to get even weirder now. Mustard on the chili spaghetti. Mustard. People think it's so weird when I put mustard on it. But the thing is, you eat a Skyline Chili cheese dog, it has mustard in it. It's the same thing. It's like it's like chili and cheese and mustard. So I tried this one day and it was busted. People also think it's weird that I squeeze extra lemon on my Chipotle. And I'm like, you do know that there's like lemon lime juice in the rice, right? I just want a little extra. Whatever. Yeah, tell us your thoughts about Skyline. Um, I grew up grew up in Cincinnati as well, obviously. Um, like you said that before, but my family didn't really eat Skyline um, because my mom didn't like it, but my dad did. So um, sometimes my dad would take me. Sometimes my dad would take me. Um, there and I would get and I still wouldn't get the I was such a picky I was still kind of picky. I'm telling you when we when I met her, grilled cheese and cereal. That's it. And a hamburger plain. But um, so I would just get the Greek salad, which is very good. So if you it is good. Here, you try the Greek salad. I just can't ever. Bread. I can't ever bring myself to eat it. It is. Good. If they have garlic bread anymore. Anyway. I don't know. They I don't used think so. to. They used to be really good, but. What? <laughs> Sorry, I got I got distracted because those people next to us dropped an entire drink all over their table. Oh, that sounds like us. <laughs> that is us. We we spilled half of our skyline on the on yeah. the table just now trying to film this. Yeah, we're always spilling stuff. But um, but when I was a senior in high school, um, I went to Skyline because our youth, our youth group would go. And my youth pastor at the time was like, I'm sorry, why are you, are you not getting the chili spaghetti? And I was like, I, I don't want it. It looks gross. Blah blah blah. And he convinced me to get it. And then he told me that I was, I started to eat it, like twirl it. He's like, that's not the way you eat it. So technically, he's the one who taught me to eat that. You gotta from, cut it. From, yeah, you have to cut it. And then from then on, sorry, I just kicked it. From then on, um, I like Skyline. It was not until I was a senior. Like, and I was like forced to try it. Not forced, but he like harassed me. And I have liked it ever since. And yeah, Lexi said um, before we uh, moved to Florida, I would eat it every day. I would literally eat it every day. Yeah. <laughs> it was a problem. She, but she, it's not too expensive. No, it's ultra cheap. I mean, ish. 
It's not like McDonald's cheap. But it's like it's like Chipotle cheap. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, for whatever reason, and no one knows why, it's not as good when you take it home. Like it, it like if I get it to go, I don't even want it. Most of the time. Like, I'm like, I, I, it ain't even the same. It just don't taste the same. You can also make it at home. They sell the chili. I used to do that. Separately. But it doesn't matter. Like, if I make it at home, it's always busted. Like, uh-huh. the, I think it's busted. <laughs> and I think the reason it's busted when you make it at home is because the cheese. Because they, they yeah. literally hand great. The, look at this. Look at this fluffy. Uh, I mean, now we can't eat that because I just ran my hand through it. But basically. It's the best. It's so good. And they don't you can't get this kind of cheese. They hand grate the cheese like every day. And that's probably why I feel like it's the same I, you can make it somewhere at home because I don't get the cheese um, on mine. So oh, yeah. to me it's true. It's it's the same. I used to make it for myself every day and then I, um, it was bad. I uh I just it's not good taking it home. I don't I, I mean I will eat it if I'm like really like starving and for whatever reason we got it to go but you gotta eat it here. It's, it's way better. Ooh, I am stuffed. <laughs> Is anybody else stuffed? Yes. Stuffed. Um, so Skyline Chili. It was awesome. What'd you think? Always a blast. As always. always a blast. Never always good. It's we haven't. How long has it been since we had Skyline? Two days. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually correct. I forgot. Before that, before we this trip, when was the last a time we had Skyline? Months for me, uh, probably a month for you. Me, yeah, because I was here like a month ago. But yeah. like, it, it's it, usually only when we're here, or we drive. We do actually drive down to Clearwater to get Skyline periodically if it's been too long. So oh, it was good. It was awesome, and it was fast. Like we were in and out of there in like twenty minutes or something, probably. Mm-hmm. Well, a little bit longer because I had to take some video, but basically. There you have it, Skyline Chili, awesome. Um, give it a shot. I do have a feeling that most people who are not from Cincinnati who will try it will be like, huh? Yeah. Be like, this is busted. Um, but there are there are people who come and they're like, wow, this is amazing. Um, so if you don't get a chance to come to Cincinnati, go down to Clearwater, give it a shot as well. Um, otherwise, Thanks for joining us. Another great episode. Our Cincinnati trip has almost come to an end. I'm actually headed to Canada, um, to Vancouver. So um, I'm going to take my video on the road and see if there's um, anything interesting that I can film. Uh, But until next time, tune in tomorrow for another awesome episode. Thanks for joining us. Um, Subscribe. Yeah, hit the little, (laughs) I'm going to start doing that. Hit the little (laughs) notification. Um, But uh, thanks for joining us. Until next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye.